how it work for us kids. Hello, and welcome to our online services for Living Word Fellowship Children's Ministry. We're so glad that you're here. Well, boys and girls, it's almost fall festival. So please note the announcement because we would love to see you at our trunk or treat. Also, don't forget about Wednesdays. We do a wanna on Zoom. And we've been having such a wonderful time. We're so excited to see you there. And so we hope that you will continue to come. If you don't have the link, please check out our website or call me at the church. Well, boys and girls, it's a joy to be back. And so we're going to say our prayer and do the books of the Bible, which we haven't done in a minute. And then we're going to get into our lesson. So please bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, we thank you so much for this time. We thank you for our boys and girls. We thank you for giving us the strength to be in the house of the Lord again. And for those who are not able to come back, oh God, we pray that they will still enjoy our online services. Please help us and give us all the words to say and help us to learn all that you would have us to learn. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. And now, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, boys and girls. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Good job. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd, 3rd John, Jude, and Revelation. Ma'am! Good job. And now, let's get our praise on. The shepherd's job is to care for sheep so they don't go astray. Well, I'm a sheep in the flock of God, and I know Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The shepherd's job is to care for sheep so they don't go astray. Well, I'm a sheep in the flock of God, and I know Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. John, 10, 11, John, 10, 11, John, 10, 11. John, 10, 11, John, 10, 11, John, 10, 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, 
the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Boys and girls, we had so much fun last week with uh, I Am the Light of the World. And so this week we're talking about I Am the Good Shepherd. And so when you think of a good shepherd, you think of someone that's doing the things as a sacrifice for you and for me. And so in today's story, we're going to find out that we have the good shepherd, who is Jesus, and who is teaching us how he wants us to be. But we also have a false shepherd. And they call him in this story a hireling. So a hireling is someone that's not so good. But the good shepherd, of course, is Jesus. They both have different characteristics. And so in today's story, I would like for you to see if you can pick out the characteristics of Jesus, the good shepherd, and also the characteristics that we don't like so well of the false shepherd who is the hireling. As Jesus stood in front of a large crowd, he felt love and kindness toward them. They were like sheep without a shepherd, lost and alone. Long ago, God had promised to rescue them from the curse of sin and free them from the abuse and neglect of false shepherds. I am the good shepherd, Jesus said. The good shepherd cares about his sheep and knows each one by name. The good shepherd loves his sheep and is willing to lay down his life for them. The hireling is a false shepherd who cares only about the money he earns by watching over someone else's sheep. It's just a job to him, so when danger comes, he runs away, leaving the flock behind. Why should he put himself at risk for a bunch of nameless animals that don't even belong to him? He views his life as much more important than theirs, even a small sacrifice is too much for him to make for a flock of helpless sheep he views as worthless. The hireling is often seen counting his money while the sheep wander helplessly through the fields. If any of the sheep were in danger, he would not notice until it is too late to help them. The hireling is a coward who runs from any threat. He would leave the helpless sheep unprotected from people or other animals that want to cause them harm. But the Good Shepherd never lets his sheep out of his sight. He is theirs, and they are his. There is no pain or sadness that they will ever bear alone. The enemy may hunt and take action to destroy them, but the Good Shepherd will always stand in front of the sheep as a protective shield against any enemy. He is their sole defense. The Good Shepherd considers the lives of his sheep to be more precious than his own. He will not hesitate to give up his power and position, even his life, in order to save them so that they might gain everything. The Good Shepherd loves the sheep more than he loves his own life. Jesus called out to the people in his audience, I am the Good Shepherd. His love for them was eternal and his care for them was unending. Soon he would lay down his life for the sheep he loved, those who hear his voice and follow him. Jesus died for all sinners. He was willing to give his life as payment for the sins of the world. Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and life more abundantly. Jesus loves us more than he loved his own life and he has come to seek and save all who are lost. Call on the name of the Good Shepherd, the name of Jesus, and you will be saved. So, boys and girls, did you enjoy that story? I sure did. So, what were the characteristics of the Good Shepherd? He was loving. He was kind. He protected the sheep. And we are considered as the sheep. All of God's children are considered as the sheep. And the shepherd who is Jesus watches over us. What about?
about the characteristics of the hireling or the false shepherd. Always thinking about himself, running, being scared, being a coward, especially when the wolf came. Not as nice, not always honest. And so which one do you think Jesus wants us to be like? Exactly. He wants us to be like he who is the good shepherd. And so boys and girls, it doesn't matter what's going on or how you may look at life. If you can depend on Jesus, the good shepherd, the one who protected the sheep from the wolf, then you are headed down the right road. In the last part of our lesson today, boys and girls, we would like to look at a few questions. We're talking about the good shepherd and the false shepherd. Question number one, there are many ways to God and to his eternal kingdom. Is that true or is that false? Would the good shepherd be saying that or the false shepherd? If you said the false shepherd, then you're correct. Why? Because there's only one way to Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. In John 14, 6. So there's only one way, not many ways. Question number two. The good shepherd or the false shepherd? Jesus is the Messiah the Son of God. He died so that we might have life. If you said the Good Shepherd, then you are so correct. Jesus sacrificed his life so that we might have the life to the tree more abundantly. And in 1 John 4, 15, it explains that Jesus died for us. And question number three, the last one, the good shepherd or the false shepherd? Do whatever it seems right. Just have at it. Do whatever you want to do. Every man about himself. Is that something from the good shepherd? Or is that something from the false shepherd? If you said the false shepherd, you are so right. Remember, the false shepherd was worried about his what? His money. And so in the story, instead of watching the sheep, he was counting his money. And so we don't do what we want to do. We do what Jesus asked us to do. And so that's our perfect example. So that when our parents ask us to do things, we do what our parents ask us to do. We do what our teachers ask us to do. We learn from our pastor and all of the people at our church. So boys and girls, I sure hope you've enjoyed being with us today. And remember, John 10 and 11, I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for all of my people. I am the good shepherd, Jesus said. I lay down my life for all of my people all of my children. Well, boys and girls, we've had an awesome time today. Can't wait to see you on Wednesdays on Zoom for Awana. And of course, whenever you feel free, we are back at church. If you're not ready to come back, then we will be glad to have you with us online. Well, let's say our closing prayer and then we will end. Father, we thank you so much for our boys and girls. We thank you, O oh God, for showing us the lesson and showing us that you are the good shepherd, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to always follow you. Thank you for letting us know that there's also another shepherd that's not good, and we don't want to follow him. Thank you, O oh God, for keeping us safe and for bringing us back to church. For those who are still online, we ask that you would please comfort them and keep them safe until they are ready to come back. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Don't forget to bring those candy and donations by any day, especially Sunday 
on Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. We will be so glad to get them. Well, remember, God loves you and I do too. Bye now.